Hi, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to check the description to this video. I have links to some of my popular videos, a link to my Amazon account for a lot of things that you all ask about. Don't forget I have a bunch of playlists on the homepage of this channel. Thank you. Okay, I peeled my rutabaga and we are about to try this meat cleaver. All right, this is my first time ever using one. Look at that, one hit, look how far down that went. Holy cow, I'm gonna go on and put a little pressure on it. Actually, I'll just go. Maybe I should. Yeah. And next time I'll know to swing just a little harder, Terry. I know I would never be able to hit the same spot again if I did it, but what I could do is flip it over. And, uh, Hang on, it was around there. I'm gonna flip it over and try it, all right? Yeah. Definitely not the same saw spot. Hey, that was so much easier. Oh my gosh, and I'm gonna go in the spot where I did have it, keeping my fingers back, don't be freaking out, y'all. So, and it would probably be smarter to hit this on my cutting board. I understand that. Holy cow! Do you see how lazy that was? I didn't have to bang up my real knife. Oh my goodness. Thank you. That is awesome. Whoop, whoop. So now I'm going to wash this and then we'll cut up the rutabaga. It even comes with its own safety seal. <laughs> All right, now let's cut this rutabaga up. So next up, we are going to, I have 360 grams well, 370 whatever grams of rutabaga. Um, we're going to cube up some rutabaga for our salads. And boy, does it make a huge difference. If you remember, whenever I first bought this, I was having such a hard time with my rutabaga because um, I had it big, wide around. But, well, that one's a little bit bigger. But since I've made them smaller, it's a lot easier to cube up. So that is definitely the trick. So if you're going to use your chopper to, you know, to, or your cuber to cube up rutabaga, it's not so much thin as it is small around. So I'm going to put this in a container because these are going to be for my salad. So several of you have mentioned parsnips. And you mentioned the word stump. Now, I searched it up, and I think I have it spelled wrong. But for those of you who eat stump, I did S-T-U-M-P, but I also saw another a spelling, maybe S-T-E-U-M-P or U-E. Put down in the comments how you spell it so I can Google it better. But it said, <coughs> North, a, a North of England regional variation of chomp, C-H-A-M-P. So anyway, it says, let's see, it's got carrots, sweet, potatoes, unsalted butter, and milk. But lots of you said you put parsnips in there. So I bought a, some, a bag of parsnips. I'm going to cut them into smaller bite sizes. And, um, and we are going to make my version of this. I had a pork roast earlier in this crock pot. So there is still the, some of the liquid and the seasonings, and that's how it looks right now. So it, cook, it had cooked low overnight. So I'm going to put this back on low, and we are going to cut up into sm like smaller pie pieces. I'm going to cut up some parsnip. I've got some tur... I think I might save those. Does turnips in it? Nope, I'm going to leave those. I'm going to slice those up for next weekend. Um, so I'm going to have turnips, swede, and carrots. They're parsnips. Sorry, let me start over. I'm going to have parsnips, swede, and carrots. I'm going to put this in low and let it just kind of roast low in my crock pot for a few hours. And because um, several, like I said, several of you in the comments had mentioned that you either eat or grew up eating stump. Stump, how do you pronounce it? Is it pronounced S T? Is it pronounced just like what I'm saying? Is it st stoop? St 
Stomp. How do you pronounce it? So I'm going to finish cutting up. Uh-oh. Parsnip down. Parsnip down. I'm going to finish cutting up the parsnip into bite-sized pieces. The carrots, I bought these. Uh, these are those little baby cut carrots, so they're really little. So I'm going to put those in there. And then I'm going to cut this up. I'll get back. To, I'm going to finish cutting up this one. Then I'll put these in there. And then I'll finish cutting up that. And I'll get back with you. For the record, I, I know carrots are not traditionally low carb. But, you know, I, that's better than candy. Or it's better than, you know, better than a pizza. So, yeah, I'm putting, I'm eating carrots. And so you don't have to. I'm just doing, I'm adding carrots to the parsnips and sweet because that's what I'm doing for me. You pick whatever vegetables work best for you. Okay, so now that I'm cutting up the rutabaga, I am. By the way, I didn't wear my shirt today about uh, Jesus and rutabaga because I plan on wearing that to work. So uh, I, I, I don't want you to think that I... Didn't want to wear my shirt, but uh, yeah, that's going to work with me uh, probably Monday. So I don't want to get it dirty and have it smelling like food. So anyway, so I sliced it this way. It's, just, it's not overly important, I guess, like that they even. But I already have one that's in the microwave now. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting them. You can see the big chunks. And I'm, I'm microwaving them for about five minutes. It with a little bit of water in them and uh, just so that way they cook up a little more with all the other things in it rutabaga really takes a long time to cook so i'm cooking them for five minutes and then i'll put them in the in the crock pot and i'll show you whenever i do that so here i have microwaved these uh this part of the rutabaga for five minutes let's see if i have a fork or something i didn't like i said i'm not trying to cook it I just want to get some, some, I want it to be, you know, heated through a little bit more than just thrown into the crock pot. So I did this for five minutes with just a little, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of water in there. So I'm going to dump it into here. I'm going to do this other one <coughs> and then we'll do something else with this. But in the meantime, I just want to go ahead and get this going for five minutes in the microwave. All right, so I've got all the rutabaga and parsnips and carrots in here. I'm adding some more water. It doesn't need to be a ton because <clears throat> they can steam some. And um, I tasted the liquid. So the seasonings are, uh, I don't even remember all the seasonings. Um, whatever I used in my other video for my, for my pork. But um, anyway, I'm going to... I watered it down a little bit, so let's give the season this this liquid this broth of taste. Hold on. I think that's good. I don't think I'm gonna add anything to it. I'm gonna put it on low. The time is 9:30, 10:30, 30. Let's give it till 12:30 on low. So, Ziggy, crock pot timer three hours. She's been having issues today. Ziggy, crock pot timer three hours. Crock pot timer three hours starting now. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna let that go for three hours and then we'll check back on it. Hey, I lied. I'm gonna add some onions in it because we all know I love onions. So I'm gonna put these onions right on top of it. I don't know if they're normally in the dish. I can't remember. Um, well, it wasn't in these ingredients. This has butter and milk, but that's later. So, because this one is a mashed version, but I just want to get them roasted. So, I got those onions in there, and that's what we're going to leave it at that. So, we're going to look at the stump. It's ST. Anyway, stump is what we're going to look at. The recipe I saw, they mashed it up and turned it more into like a chopped mashed potato mashed vegetable type thing I'm not gonna do that um, I'm going to do it more as a well I'm gonna do some like it and some not like it so we're going to let me find some 
containers here. Okay. Um, so first off, what I'm going to do is, I don't know, vegetables. I'm going to look and see what an at what a quote serving of vegetables like carrots the weight is. Hang on. Okay, so a cup of carrots, I just went with that. A cup of carrots was about 145 grams. Well, that's more than what I want for one serving. So I'm going to I'm going to just go with my usual 200 grams and leave it at that. So this is I'm going to kind of get down in here, mix this up a little bit so we can get some onions mixed with all of it because we're going to do some um, mashed and some not. So let's see what 200 grams. Okay, that's 225. Hello. Okay. So now I'm going to take out, I don't know, a couple servings and I'll be right back. So I've got four at about 260 grams each. I'm going to add the liquid. I'm going to do two, I don't know, I guess this is a fourth cup, so I'll do about a half cup of the liquid into each serving of these. And then I'll get back with you as soon as I get that done. How about we taste each individual vegetable? Hang on. Let's taste a parsnip, a cooked parsnip. That's fun. My mom is texting me. Yeah, that's good. I like that flavor. I can't really explain it. It's not turnipy or, I don't know, it's a, it has a different, almost like a minty, zingy, I don't know, carrot. Yup. And we know I like rutabaga. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Oh, hot. It's a little more watery than what I would want. But what I'm going to do is kind of mash it up like it's talking about. Not into a mashed mash, but I'm going to turn it into a chopped type thing. I think that would be fun. So you get a bunch of small bites of the vegetables instead of a bunch of big bites. So the other one is more like stew, and this is going to be like a chopped type situation. I probably should put my apron on. Give me just a second, I'm going to put my apron on before I go any further. Okay, so I'm going to keep mashing these up. Then I'm going to get a a thing and we're going to do about 200 grams well now that i've got liquid i should probably see how much this weighs and then i'll make the others weigh the same thing i'll probably get about three more servings out of this is what i'm guesstimating but this is going to be my version of stump the mashed version they call for milk and butter but i don't have milk and i don't want to add cream or other butter because i don't want to add the extra calories so for me, these vegetables and all the, the yummy seasonings that I put in there, that's plenty. So let's go on and get a big, let's see. So I'm gonna see how much one weighs with it, the whole thing, okay. So, let's see how much we get out of this. Okay. get three probably get three and a half we'll see that's perfect I'll put this into something and I'll have this for supper tonight so 
I'll put this in a smaller container. So I'll be right back. Okay, so in the end, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half servings of stump. And like I said, for those of you who eat this on the regular, please tell me the correct spelling. I, I feel bad because it's going to be after I've posted this video. But um, yeah, so that is my Americanized version of stump. So I'll get this in the refrigerator and I'll be able to work, eat on these as vegetables this upcoming week. I don't know if you saw them all. That's, I don't know if my camera was aimed up too high or not. But yeah, so seven and a half servings of stump. So I'll put this in my refrigerator, or freezer I mean.